Hello, Angel Dolls John Under here. Sorry about the odd lighting. It's night time and I don't have a very good lighting setup, but I have a box because I bought another doll. Even though I said Clove was going to be my last for a while, and it was a new face mold, of which I'm missing two. This is not a new face mold. Whoops. Um, this doll was cheaper than retail, and I don't know if I'm going to keep her as is or use her for customising. I'm probably going to use her for customising because there's a very specific custom I'd love to make with her. And I'll talk more about that once I unbox her. So that's... I've been getting so many packing peanuts. Oh, oh my goodness. So many packing peanuts. Okay, too many packing peanuts. <laughs> there is a doll in there probably. So, she feels like an American girl doll. Rubbish bag. She's not rubbish. So, if this is the doll that I bought, I think it is. <laughs> um, this is a CYO girly that I really like the base of. She'll probably keep her eyes, she might not keep her wig. I did half buy this doll for her wig, I think it's discontinued from American Girl right now, and it's really pretty. So let's get her out. Oh! Do I have this skin tone? This might be a new skin tone for me. <laughs> okay. Actually, for real now, let's take her out. Oh no, she's cuter than I thought she was gonna be. Uh oh. Oh, she's cute. So she's definitely a CYO girly. Is this an American Girl Bread Week? Or is this not? I actually don't think this is an AG brand wig. It doesn't feel like an American Girl wig. <clears throat> What's this glue like? Oh, it's good glue. But I don't think this is American Girl brand. This doesn't feel like an AG wig. Huh. How strange. She's very cute. Hmm. So, this is a new doll for me. She's a CYO Sonali mold with, I believe, medium skin. Okay, let's get Syrah down. I don't think they're the same skin tone. What I need is AG Evelyn Rose. Uh, tag her in this video so she can help me. Because <laughs> it's, it's lighter than... Yeah. It's almost like medium skin with the warm undertones. Her freckles are also very dark. But I knew that. And she has blue eyes. She has the new Sonali mold but I don't hate it. She also has a huge shine mark on her nose. And then she has her earrings. Oh, and there's a big glue mark. Oh, there's glue mark. Oh, and glue in her hair on this side. Big chunk of glue. Yeah. This is not an American Girl Bread wig. Huh? Okay. I'm not disappointed with her, I'm just surprised. I thought this was the old strawberry blonde American Girl brand wig. But American Girl has never made this vibrant of an orange. Like this is not, this is not the American Girl brand strawberry blonde and it's not the American Girl brand ginger. I still like it. I think it's a pretty wig, but it's very shiny. See, it's really, really shiny, but she's going to be a brunette soon. So this doll I bought, I thought she was a little bit darker in skin tone, um, to be Beauregard Lionette, uh, from Critical Role Campaign 2 The Mighty Nine. I've been listening to Critical Role for three years now. I am currently catching up on Campaign 3. I've not listened to Campaign 1, but I have listened to all of Campaign 2. Yasha is my favourite character. If I'm just talking nonsense at you, that's so fair. There are so many hours worth of content. It's not for everyone. It's definitely for me. Um, I've cosplayed Critical Role with four separate costumes. Two different Yashas. Nope. Three different Yashas. Aurum 
and Fern, which I did for a big cosplay competition last year, and placed best artistry in that competition. Um, so this is going to be mini bow because I thought the eyes and the skin tone and the face sculpt were all very much Beauregard. Um, so she might keep the name Beau, or she might have a different name, but she's cute! I definitely like her. She's definitely going to stick around for a bit. Um, but I think she needs to be a brunette. I might do that now. Uh, I'm on my way to see Wolverine and Deadpool very, very soon. So I'm in my, like, going to the movies outfit with all my brooches. Um, but let's put her in an outfit and let's give her a new wig. So sometimes you buy one doll and you end up customizing three of them. So, hee hee. I did a big customizing session the night I got Beau and almost missed my session time for Deadpool and Wolverine, but that's okay. <laughs> so this is Beau. Beau ended up with the Joss wig that I um, haven't shown on camera before. I got it on eBay. I think I paid 15 Australian dollars for it. It's a really, really lovely wig. And I think it looks really great on their skin tone. Um, and you can really see that Beau doesn't have the same skin tone as um, Clove, who is over here. Um, so yes, Bo got the Joss wig, and then Piper over here, who is a Joss mold um, with a Nelly wig. She swapped Caroline eyes for blue eyes, and let me tell you, I am never doing an eye swap on a Joss mold again. Oh my god, it was so hard. I've done so many eye swaps. I've done Marie Grace molds, I've done Josefina molds, I've done an Addy mold, I've done a classic mold. Oh my god, I'm never doing a Jess mold again. My thumbs may never recover. Oh, it was hard. But she finally got eyes that weren't the Caroline eyes. I have always struggled with the Caroline eyes on Piper. And I think she looks so much sweeter with the blue. I think I do want to re-freckle her and maybe blush her nose a little bit. But that's not happening today. So this is, uh, of course, we've already met you, Bo. This is um, a doll who... I've customized on this channel many, many times. She's my tattoo sleeve girly. I called her Mella originally. Um, I think now she's Sorsha or, uh, yeah, Sorsha. So Sorsha is wearing the wig that came on Bo. I didn't know if I was gonna keep it or not, but I ended up uh, giving it some bangs, which was really tricky. This is a really springy wig fiber. I might steam them even more down, give them another trim. But for now, I think she looks rather cute with them. And I um, trimmed up some front strands for the wig as well. Um, I think she looks really, really sweet with this wig on. I think it's finally a more settled look for her. And she also ended up getting Piper's Caroline eyes. Um, they are a little off-center. Same with Piper's. But I am not reheating her head. Oh my god. Never again. <laughs> uh, my camera's trying to die, so I'm going to hopefully get through this video. And lastly, Clove, who you saw me unbox in a recent video from Moon and Major, ended up with this super cute uh, porcelain doll wig. So she originally had like long curly hair, but I think this pixie cut on her, or not pixie, this short bob on her is so cute. I've never owned Kit or 57, so I've never had a doll with this short of a wig before. And I think it just suits her little face so well. She's so cute. Yeah. Selena's done such a beautiful job on her face up. She's definitely a sweetie. But let's talk more about Bo. So she's in a, an outfit I recently bought on um, Depop. It was a mystery box and it came with this, these shorts and a tenny shirt, as well as some small accessories. Um, it was a really great um, find. I didn't know what was coming in the mystery box, obviously, but getting some Luciana pieces was a great win, especially because I know this jacket's kind of hard to find now. And I think it looks great on Beau. But yeah, so this is Beauregard, Beau for short, who is a martial artist and her major is sports science. Um, and I can't wait to do a doll spotlight on her. She definitely won't be next for doll spotlight. I have another couple dolls who are going to go first, but she's definitely a cute new face to have around. I definitely want to have a bit more of a play dressing her. I would love to get her a wig sort of like 62's where it's short, but I'd really, really love her to have an undercut. I think that would be really fun, but I'm not going to do that to this Joss wig. Maybe I'll buy a second and trim it and see how I go. 
but I think this color looks really lovely on her. Yeah. So that's been unboxing my new CYO bow. Um, thanks for watching this video. I know I said I wasn't going to be doing another unboxing for a while, but you know, I can't be stopped. Uh, thank you so much. I will see you in the next video, which should be another doll spotlight. And you will see that coming soon.